Tonight, Republican Senator from Louisiana, John Kennedy, member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. All right, Senator Kennedy, I'm seeing word here that the Democrats are trying to defund the Border Patrol. They're trying to slash a billion out of the budget there. I mean, haven't they learned already what happens when you defund the police? Well, Jesse, I'd, I'd make two points. Uh, first, with good reason, President Biden's border policy, I think, is about as popular as a sinkhole. <laughs> okay. And uh, that's because the American people aren't stupid. They, uh, they may not read Aristotle every day because they don't have time, but they understand that one or two things are going on. Number one, uh, either President Biden misled the American people when he ran, and he truly does believe in open borders, or number two, the people that he has put in charge of border security um, are not qualified to run a hot dog stand. Um, uh, they shouldn't be allowed to think for themselves. It's too dangerous. Now, I don't know which of those scenarios is true, but either way, the result is the same. Every day, thousands of people come into the United States unfettered, and we don't have the slightest idea who they are. Uh, number two. Uh, the president's border policy, in my judgment, is uh, further evidence of the fact that the Biden administration, I think, has a blind spot for the lives and the concerns of ordinary Americans. Uh, m most uh, ordinary Americans support immigration, but they also support border security. Um, unlike the Biden people, most ordinary Americans do not believe that vetting people at the border is racist. Most ordinary Americans think it's prudent. Most ordinary Americans see the border, and in, in my judgment, sort of like it's America's front door. Uh, most Americans lock their own front door at night. Why do they do that? They don't do that because they hate everybody on the outside. They lock their front door at night because they, they love the people on the inside. They, they don't want to keep everybody at all times out of their home. They just want to know who's coming into their home. Um, in any event, that, that, in my opinion, is why we, uh, we do have a crisis at the southern border. It's a, it's a raging tire fire, and it's not going to get any better as long as President Biden keeps doing what he's been doing. Well, I think it's even more sadistic and political than you even described. I believe they are breaking the border on purpose because that is what they want. They want the open border. They want to turn Texas blue. They want to overwhelm the system in order to achieve more political power. But I think you touched on a really important point, that they do have a blind spot for regular Americans. They're totally out of touch with the towns and the cities that are along the border and even further back. They don't understand the pressure it puts on the budgets. They don't understand the crime that comes in. They don't understand the, the children that are affected in schools, the wages that are reduced, the jobs that are lost. They don't understand any of it. And to be honest with you, I honestly don't think they care, Senator. And that is a very, very depressing thing to say about the president of the United States. And I don't even think you can say that about the last Democrat president. I think it's much worse, Joe Biden, than it was under Barack Obama. I'll give you the last word, 30 seconds. Well, you have to judge people by what they do, not what they say. And if you judge President Biden by that standard, then uh, I think he, he clearly does believe in... Uh, in open borders, it's hard for me to believe that uh, uh, that, that uh, the people he's put in charge are are as incompetent as the other scenario would indicate. And I don't think the American people support open borders. I think they support legal immigration, but broader security. And the American people are going to make their voices heard in the midterm elections. I can guarantee you that. Senator Kennedy, thank you so much for coming on prime time. Thank you, Jess.